look at this, the original Borough Railway Station. Looks great. I can just imagine the steam engine stopping here to top up the water supply and to let off the passengers. I can just imagine the ladies in their beautiful flouncy dresses and the gentlemen dressed up in their bow ties getting off at the railway station waving to relatives. Oh, how romantic. Again, this was the administrative hub of Barra, the old bank building, which still is a bank, butcher shop, Butcher, butcher shops selling rabbits at $10.99 each and salt bush sausages. Now this next one here is Brummett House Bed and Breakfast which used to be the old telegraph station. And over there is the town hall. In 1851 there was a shortage of accommodation in Barra and half the population lived in dugouts such as these two behind me. Can you imagine 1,800 people living in a home that they've dug in the bank of a creek? In June, a flood came through and people were forced to abandon their homes. I have to duck to get in. And it's really small. I can't imagine just what you, it's just two rooms. I guess one must be a bedroom and the other one a living room. <laughs> hmm can't even stand up straight. In those days Barra was a pretty multicultural society and this was the Welsh part of town. These three rows of cottages are typical miners cottages which you can actually stay in. The Barra Heritage Passport Key gives you access to eight different heritage sites. You can pick one of these up at the Barra Information Centre. Oh, look at this. Come on in. The three rows of cottages provided housing for up to 160 miners and their families and cost about a third of their wages to rent. The interior of this cottage is representative of the standard of accommodation provided. My home for the night is one of the original miners' cottages. Blythe Cottage is right across the road from the dugouts. <laughs>